What's up YouTube and fellow Vanners? It's Mike here with another video uh, about the van. I have a 1978 Chevy van. It's got a two and a half inch Beltec uh, drop spindles on it. It's got 255, 60, 15 inch rims on Kreger rims, eight inch rims, and uh, it's got a flare kit. Uh, so uh, over some Chevy, uh, over some steep bumps and dips in the road, I get tire rubbing. And so uh, I put some QA1 adjustable shocks on it. They have 18 settings on them. I took out about 80% of the uh, of the tire rub, but I've got some major uh, bumps around here that I drive on. And so we're gonna throw airbags on here. This is a comparison test between the Firestone coil right and the uh, and the airlift systems. This is kit 4100. The G20 van share the same suspension as the C10 truck. So if you've got a C10 truck or a G20 van or a G10, uh, these are the kits that you'll need. About the Firestone kit, I ordered this kit six weeks ago and uh, it was missing the uh, it was missing the supports, uh, their version of the supports. And through emails and phone calls, I still don't have these supports from this Firestone kit. So uh, kind of at the end of my patience, so I ordered this airlift kit. I'm gonna return these hopefully without any trouble. But uh, it's nice to have both kits here because there's some very distinct differences in these two kits. <clears throat> so the first kit comes and it's got the two bags. And the important part about this uh, bag is it's got the Schrader core valve in it. And the kit comes with the uh, core removal tool. So you gotta take the core out of this before you can deflate the bag. Comes with six zip ties. You'll zip tie the bag close so you can feed it up into a uh, under your uh, arm or between the coils. I've seen some guys do that with soapy water, make it real slippery. <clears throat> so you've got it. You've got to remove this core before you deflate the bag. <clears throat> the kit comes with the hose with the connectors on it. They go into the airbags. You'll have to cut the hose to size, and then. It comes with two push to seal fittings on here, so you'll push the push the uh, fittings in there, and then you're ready to go. But you've got to put the core needle back in before you you mount this back up. So there's one, two, three stages before just in the just in the air hose portion of your kit. Besides the fact that it was missing four cores, there's also a thermal hose in here. <clears throat> there's supposed to be two if you're going to be in a, near an exhaust or something like that. Uh, you'll want to use that, but you want you want to keep your hoses away from uh, from any of that stuff if you can. On the airlift kit, <clears throat> one of the big differences again is once you remove the cap, it does not have the Schrader valve core in there, so you don't need the tool and you don't need to do it. All you have to do is put your fitting on. Now there's two hoses here. You don't have to cut and do a push to connect. So you just uh, pop this on. Uh, run your uh, hose to where you want. Now you can shorten the hose if you want to, but it's already done for you. And then connect this out to a, a convenient place to pump up your, your airbags. Another big difference in these two bags is the support ring, uh, the support ring at the top to hold the protector. You see a little bit of that. You can put some grease on here according to the manual to keep that up. But this one, this one has hardly anything. So uh, a win for the uh, for the uh, for the airlift because when you're up there fooling around, you want this to stay on there. It's got the same thing for the bottom too. They pretty much look both the same on the bottom. The last thing I want to show you is I know we all use YouTube for installation, but this comes with a uh, this comes with an eight-page book, but three of the pages are blank. So you're going to get this diagram and this diagram pages here, and that's all you're going to get. It's it's detailed enough to do it, but if you're like me, you've never done this before, you're not a mechanic, you'll have to rely on YouTube to do that. But uh, the the directions lack a little bit, and you don't know that till you get this kit. There's a comparison, and I'll just show you. This is a 12-page book. And what it has is all your parts listed to them. And it has one, two, some very detailed uh, instructions on how to get this bag deflated, how to get it up in your thing, and then even how to mount the uh, uh, the uh, 
and mount the tool where you get the uh, the Schrader valve into the side of the, the vehicle so you can get this aired up. So very cool, very good book. And then the bonus, you get a installation guide, which is also 16 pages and it covers everything from air pressure settings after 24 hours. I want you to check your air pressure after 30 days. It shows you how to cut and remount a hose if it gets kinked. Shows you how to uh, redo the valve, put the new hose on the valve if you get it kinked, and, and just some great information on this on this booklet. And then, you know, you have options for uh, remote air pumps and things like that. So uh, this is really good, too. And then the, the last thing you get is the sticker to put on your truck or your van. So those are major differences in this kit. This kit was $98. This one was $93. Uh, this kit, uh, again, I've been waiting six weeks for the uh, supports for that. This kit I ordered Monday, it came Wednesday morning. So uh, if you're looking for an airbag system for your C10 or your G20 uh, van, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend the uh, the air the uh, airlift kit because of the ease of the hoses, uh, fast shipping, detailed instructions, and ease of installation. So uh, that's my review of these two. We're gonna put this on the van, we'll do a follow-up video, and uh, we'll see what happens when we get these bags installed. Hopefully we can prevent the uh, tire running. What's up, uh, Vanning Mike with you again. I'm laying here under the vet, so that's why I'm under the van, that's why I'm sideways. And I'm doing a follow-up to, uh, to the airlift systems that I had here. And uh, so we're under the van and we've got the airlift bags in. I wanted to show you a little bit about it. Before I do, I wanna tell you that uh, both of these kits were ordered from SD Trucks. Uh, sdtrucksprings.com I think is the website and on the return of the Firestone they were very helpful uh, they sent the, uh, the return mailing label right away and props to that company who sold both kits by the way uh, and, and and they have a little uh, comparison review but this is the real world I thought I'd share a little bit with you now that we're bags are installed everything went well uh, except for the G20 vans have a smaller hole uh, where these bags are to go in now these kits came with four zip ties and I used eight I had four hands on this bag we squeezed it until there was nothing left to squeeze we zip tied them all up I even duct taped the middle of it and these bags would not go in this hole uh, they would go halfway up and then there was a seam where these are manufactured they take two components and fuse them together and there's a little eighth inch uh, ledge around it and it just wouldn't go. So after two hours, I was done. I took this to my mechanic and uh, we decided to go with a plasma torch. She cut uh, a 16th inch perimeter. It's not the cleanest cut, but it got the job done. And then we were able to uh, grease that bag up. By the way, uh, they recommend soapy water. If you want something really slippery, just shoot some tire shine on it. It'll get it done. Anyway, this bag is in and uh, I've got 40 pounds of pressure in it. Uh, the max is 50. And I've hit some of the hard transitions that I've had, and we have eliminated the tire rub, I'm happy to report. We eliminated the tire rub with 40 pounds of the pressure in this bag. But I also have um, the QA1 adjustable shocks and over here. So I've got this set on five out of 18. And so we're gonna crank this up to about 10. And uh, I wanted a really smooth ride. And so uh, this van rides really like it's on clouds. And uh, when it hits a dip, it used to do a two or three bounce, but now I've eliminated down to one. And I think if I set this on uh, 10 or 11, uh, uh, I think it'll be perfect. I have some very, uh, I had, I did hit some dips at high speed and then get one more tire rub on that, but as unusual, uh, I was doing uh, well over the speed limit and uh, got a little tire rub. So we're gonna even try to eliminate that. I got 18 settings, we're all five. We're gonna take it up to 10, 11 and 12. And I think we can, uh, we can eliminate all the other rebound that's going on. But can't say enough about these airbags. Uh, I've got my hoses run uh, all the way uh, far back as I can. They're almost to the rear shocks. There's quite a bit of hose that they send you with this. Um, you can get a remote kit, and I've had this on here for about three weeks and decided if I needed that kit, uh, I would order it, put it in the van uh, uh, back there where I have a uh, converter and my amps inside, uh, they would fit in there. There's 12 volt power to it. and you can work the remote off your phone. Uh, so see my review uh, earlier about this. Uh, this is the second part of uh, one part, but I wanted to show you the, uh, the ease of installation, quality product that the uh, airlift provided, 
and I recommend it for the uh, G10, G20 vans, and the C10 trucks. So uh, more next time. We've solved the tire rub, and uh, we uh, are very happy. All right, take care.